next two years, we're going to be running the Conservation Champions Project across the state. And every semester, we're going to be celebrating a conservation champion, one of our landholders who is protecting biodiversity on their property. We've piloted the project, uh, we've got it working really well, and now we're starting to expand, starting in, in Denny this year with Denilicum High. I think the project is a real one of, one of a kind for students out here. And this is potentially the first time they've ever even heard of the word biodiversity and seen an example of it in their landscape. And that's pretty powerful. Really important to get kids from this local area to come out and meet landholders like Ken and Jill. They're such inspiring people and they're really passionate about what they do. Uh, they have revegetated a whole sand hill. The kids have been able to walk amongst all this fully mature revegetation and get an appreciation of the bush that's in their local area. It's a nice place to be. It, 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 was, it didn't used to be like this, but they planted all this and, and made it natural and all the animals just came in. And I think it's just great the way they're trying to get the environment back up like this. We learnt about the indigenous people and we learnt about some of their history and in this region. We're checking on the water and whether it's too acidic and that sort of stuff. And we're checking for creatures that might be in the water. Because they have a place in the environment. They, they have a reason for being here. I feel like you need this sort of conservation. So like here at Jill's and Kenny's, like they've got a certain area that's just left natural vegetation. So yeah, we've been learning all about that and like the biodiversity of the land. That's right, symbiosis. It's a symbiotic relationship. They're both getting something out of this. So... Australia is a continent that's lived through a lot of harsh droughts and stuff like that. And the only thing that's probably survived that is the native bushland. So if we use that to our advantage, that's going to help us through this drought. I think they're going to um, appreciate a lot more what can be around them if they put a little bit of effort in and also if they look and, and uh, that there's a lot of things there that they'd probably like to care about and enjoy in the future. I think it opened a few eyes. It's really important, especially with young people, I mean they're the future landholders of this region. So it's really important for them to understand the benefits of having bush on their farms, benefits having revegetation and yeah it's I think it's important for the health of the whole whole community, yeah.